Hello backpackers, this is Juan from Juan Backpacks. I'm here today with a kind of a little bit more than a first look at the new Fast Pack from Gossamer Gear. It's the Fast Kumo Fast Pack. Um, I'm gonna go through some of the specs. If you wanna know more about the detail, um, you can go to the Gossamer Gear website to get the really kind of detailed stuff. Uh, but I'm gonna do the same thing I usually do with my um, you know, first looks. I'm going to kind of go over the reasons that I pulled this into my kit, um, some of the things that I like about it and looking at it at a first look, some of the concerns I might have with the piece of gear moving forward, things that I'm kind of worried about maybe in terms of the design, materials, and so forth. Um, so those are the three things I'll talk about. Um, and, you know, this is a little bit more than a first look because I've actually got some miles on this. As soon as I got it, I bought it probably the first week that they came out ordered it um, because I'm going to be doing a um, a really 100 mile challenge in under 50 hours. I really felt like I needed to really pare down my weight and and get something I could move a little bit more in. And I'll get into more detail on that. But um, it is a really nice pack. I've got about, I want to say about 30 plus miles on it now, uh, fully loaded with about 10 and a half pounds um, of gear and food and water that I would be carrying normally. I've been trail running with it. So that's 30 miles of actual trail running. Uh, and so it's been performing really nicely for me. And I'll, I'll talk a little bit about that too. So first, let's gonna go ahead and go over some of the, the features that kind of drew me to this pack. Uh, and I'm gonna talk about, again, some of the things that, uh, reasons I brought it into my kit and then also some of the concerns going forward. So some of the features, the key features that I really like, first of all, it's a 36 liter pack. I think the internal uh, part of it is 28 liters, I wanna say. Uh, yeah, 28 liters in the main body and then all the pockets and so forth get it up to 36 liters. And so I feel like that's sufficient for fast packing because I'm trying to keep my gear down to a minimum. I've got my gear in it now, but I will not do a gear kind of load out right now. I'm gonna do a separate video on that. So let's look at some of these features. First of all, it's actually got some loops here at the bottom where you can put your trekking poles in there. And I really like that because I use trekking pole tents. And uh, you know, even if I'm gonna just use like a, uh, a uh, uh, ground sheet of some type to sleep or whatever it might be if I'm fast packing, um, then I will do that. So you can see here, I attached my uh, trekking poles there. Uh, it's got a front pocket that's really nicely designed. Um, it's made of the normal mesh that Gossamer Gear uses. It's got some reinforcement under here to protect the mesh a little bit. Uh, if you're pushing, you know, throwing the pack down on the ground or something like that. And I definitely appreciate that. In addition to these small bungee loops at the bottom that can help hold your trekking pole, it also has an ice axe loop as well, which could come in handy if you're doing snow travel and so forth. Um, you can probably find other ways to use this loop too, um, but that's a good feature, I think, to put on this pack. The pack uses the, the flap um, closure that's kind of common on some of the other Gossamer Gear packs. I've got to be completely honest with you, I'm not a big fan of the flap um, pack cover. I like a roll top better. Um, I just feel like it's more efficient um, and it just tends to like tighten the, the pack up a little bit better, especially the G420 that I have from Gossamer Gear. I love the way the roll top goes down and then you can cinch it down on both sides and really compact your gear in there. Um, so I can see the, the reason rationale for this. You could probably trap like a small bear can underneath this or something like that. So that makes it a little bit more versatile. You've got two really ultralight clips here on either side that, you know, you can cinch the pack lid down. And I really like these features. Uh, and then you can obviously tighten it down depending on your load and so forth. It's also got these little um, D rings, these tiny ultralight D rings in several places around here. So you can probably attach lines, gear, and so forth. The flap itself, um, again, like Gossamer Gear, um, has on a lot of their flaps, they've got a little pocket here. So if you want to put a map under here, you can't really put big bulky things I found because I, I had a, a Mariposa that has the same flap on it from Gossamer Gear. You can't really put a lot of like bulky gear inside there, but maps and a wallet or whatever it might be uh, is, is definitely easy to put in there. Uh, the side of the pack has on each side, there's pockets. Um, probably this one, I actually have a water 
uh, filter and a uh, bladder in the side here. You could probably put water bottles in here pretty easily. Um, but you know, maybe even a small, you know, shelter or something like that. It's very compact. I like the fact that they have static lines on the side here a lot because I love static lines, uh, you know, instead of bungees. I feel like when I have a static line here, I can use it to really tighten up my load. Again, really important with fast pack because you're going to be moving. You know, you might be jogging, you might be running with it. You're going to be moving really fast. You just want the gear to be really tight in there. And it has, um, you know, the, the uh, static line locks on both sides. So I can really cinch down the load here very nicely. You see there's another pocket on the other side here. Uh, again, I actually don't have anything in there yet, but you put a water bottle, whatever you might want in there. The front pocket, as I said, is really nice. It's mesh uh, and it really operates well. So let's go to the front of the pack. That's where things get a little bit busier and, uh, and the design, you know, comes through. And, uh, you know, you've got a belt here that's really lightweight. I think the belt weighs about three, just over three ounces, and it's actually removable, so you can re detach the belt if you want to um, on both sides and not use the belt. The belt has pockets, zip pockets. They've got mesh here, and, uh, and they zip shut pretty easily when the pack is on, and I like that. And the belt is really adjustable, um, and so I like that about the belt as well. Um, the belt can be, as I said, removed and lighten the pack even more. The pack is just over 20 ounces. I think it's, I'm going to use my cheat sheet here. The pack with the belt and the sit light pad and everything is 20.7 ounces. And you can lighten that by taking out the sit, sit pad if you want to, and also taking out the belt. And that would get you actually down to 15.2 ounces. That is pretty darn light for a fast pack. On the front, the fast pack, the straps, you can see there are some connectors here, some little straps here and here. You could connect things to at the top of the, the straps. Uh, you've got water mesh water bottle pockets. I have two 415 milliliter uh, soft water bottles in the two front pockets on both sides. And, and these bottles go in and out of here pretty easily. So I like that. In the front here, there's a small pocket. You can see I actually put my in-reach in here. There's a whistle too, like a little whistle on a bit of a bungee. I can, this thing is almost perfectly sized for an in-reach mini. And I just actually take this bungee and strap it around the antenna of my in-reach mini and it holds it in there when I'm running. Again, I've got about 30 plus miles of running in this pack, actually trail running and everything holds it together. This little pocket here is supposed to be stashing trash in the bottom here. Um, so you can shove your trash as you're moving and eating. Um, again, I like these pockets because you can fill them up with food, and that's what I plan to do uh, for when I'm on the move so I don't have to stop and eat, especially during the 100-mile challenge. On the other side, you have a uh, zipper pocket that holds a phone. Uh, it can hold a pretty big phone. The thing that I don't like about the zipper pocket is that it tends to, if you don't have a water bottle in here, it tends to flap a lot. The, the way it's designed, the, 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 when you're running or jogging, the phone flaps a little bit. Not horrible. It's not a game, you know, not a deal breaker, but it's just a little bit annoying, <laughs> especially if you're like running, you know, six miles plus and this thing's doing that the whole time. But when you have a water bottle in here, uh, it tightens everything up and basically you're good to go. And it's a zipper and it's mesh, uh, that mesh here, it makes it really nice. The front of the pack has two uh, clips. So like a lot of running vests and fast pack, fast packs, it has a clip at the top. It has a clip at the bottom to better secure the, um, the vest, which is, this is basically like a running style vest, right? And so it secures it better. Uh, and then right here, you've got a little bungee clip. You could literally, this is typically used for like umbrellas or to connect trekking poles and so forth. And so you can connect something this way as well. Uh, and so I like that a lot. The thing about the fast pack, when you're wearing it, the sizing, like say I, I clip the belt, the belt is pretty far above your belly button. Uh, and that's to keep the pack kind of off your hips a little bit. It's meant to be up a little bit higher than you would normally feel a pack, you know, down like on the lower part of your back. Um, and that's to keep your hips and everything free for running and jogging and so forth when you're wearing a fast pack. So it's, again, it's, it's meant to ride a little bit higher 
you know, on your back. And then this belt comes across above your belly button. So you have like your hips are able to move naturally when you're running. And I found that to be a huge uh, advantage in using this out, you know, and not using a normal pack. Um, <clears throat> I've actually used my G420 um, during really like long distance where I had to move really fast. And sometimes I actually have jogged in it. And that's one of the things with my G420. I noticed when I jog with my G420, cause it's sitting on my hips, the pack has a tendency to waggle, even though I'm still like at an ultralight weight, I'm down around that 10 pounds or so ultralight weight plus water and, and food. Um, it tends to waggle because it's just not designed like a, like a fast pack to stay on your back and stay tight and not shift around. Uh, so that's one of the reasons I went to the fast pack because I knew I'd have to move faster in the Allegheny Challenge. I knew I wanted to move faster uh, at the end of the year in the Crucible. I planned to use this this in the, the two and a half day Crucible hike for 70 miles because I just feel like it's a lot better suited for that. And I feel like because both of those are warm time of the year, I can really pare down my gear. Um, so again, you've got this running style vest here set up like many running style vests. And uh, I found it to be extremely comfortable when I was using it. I didn't notice any real, um, you know, at 10 and a half pounds um, total weight in my in the pack. I didn't notice anything really that was problematic about, you know, my shoulders getting tired or the thing cutting into my shoulders at all. Um, I believe that Gossamer Gear says you can, you know, use up to, I think it's max capacity in terms of weight is 25 pounds. Uh, and then for comfort, 20 pounds. Um, I've had, like I said, about 10 and a half pounds in there. I could see 15 to 20 pounds working. Um, I, you know, based on what, how 10 and a half pound pounds feels, I would be hard pressed to think that you could carry 25, like really comfortably for a long time. Now, you know, when you're, when you got food on board, um, you know, I've experienced this in the Sierra, you know, you got 10 pounds of food on board and the first day of resupply, you know, it's nice once you get rid of about three or four pounds, you're, you're golden again. So, um, so if you're, you know, up around that 20 pounds, you know, and you're, you've got food on board, you're going to be down under 20 pounds, down to 15 pounds pretty, pretty quickly. I can see 15 pounds being super comfortable with this 10 and a half pounds, honestly, was no problem at all. Again, I probably ran, I've run about a total of 30 miles with this fast pack on and it, it was, it was no problems whatsoever. Um, the way that it, the belt works with the um, running style vest and the ability to lock in your gear and, and you know, really kind of like keep it from shifting around in the pack and I've run, run with full gear in it. Um, it's, it really stays on your back nicely. I don't find that it shifts around or waggles around when you're running. It just, you know, obviously you can feel it back there, but it's not problematic. Again, I have a comparison of doing the same kind of jogging in my G420, which is a normal ultralight pack. And I can tell definitely the difference because this is made for moving fast, hence the fast pack name, right? So the pad here is nice. I've never taken it out yet. Uh, it's thinner than some of their sit light thin pads uh, and you can pull it out. This one's orange, got the big G on there, right? Um, you can pull it out and use it as a sit pad. Um, I like it because it adds structure to the pack. I've considered taking this out of here and then just using a uh, um, 1 8 ounce foam on the inside of the back here. I've considered that just to lighten it by three ounces uh, because I'm going to carry the, the thin light pad anyway to sleep on. Uh, it'll be part of my kit. But uh, I, I don't know, I'm still con considering about that. Um, but the, this, this is really comfortable. Yeah, your back sweats a little bit, but I, I don't feel like it's any worse than any other pack that I've ever worn. Uh, it's got a carry handle up top, which I find to be really useful as well. All in all, you know, the pack is really nice, really nice features. Like I said, it, it, it operates as advertised. I mean, it, it really puts everything here close to you um, and is more like a running style vest. And allows you, and, and you know, allows you to keep moving and drinking and doing the things you need to do just to keep, you know, getting miles under your belt. Hence the fast pack, right? Inside, the only thing in the inside that has um, another feature that I haven't mentioned so far. There's a sleeve for a water, um, you know, water bladder, and I think there's probably yeah, there's two ports here on the top to bring a hose out either side here on the top. Um, I'm not a user of water bladders. Um, even in a fast pack, I just don't feel like I'd want to do that. 
Um, but <clears throat> if you're into that, I mean, you, you can do that as well. So overall, you know, at 36 liters, again, it's carrying weight for me really nicely. It's doing what I need it to do. Some of the reasons I brought this into my kit, um, number one, I needed something that I could keep moving efficiently with. Um, I really like my Gossamer Gear G420, but it is like just over 20 ounces right now. I can't remember about 23 ounces, but to get the pockets and so forth, I'd have to add a few ounces to get, you know, food pockets and water bottle to keep everything handy here. Uh, I don't feel like that's as critical when I'm just backpacking. Um, but when I'm fast packing, I know I'm going to, you know, I mean, I'm going to try to attain, you know, 30 mile days or more, especially in the hundred mile challenge, you know, 40 mile days. And so I really have to keep moving and just, you know, kind of crushing those miles as I go. And so having a running style vest with water bottles, the, um, the, uh, belt with the being able to put food in here snacks as i move is going to be really important to me the other reason i brought this into my kit because of moving fast is i wanted something that would stay on my body again just my experience with the g420 i thought about continuing using that in the summer for these fast packing situations i'll be in um, but I just felt like trying something designed for the being moving uh, is was a good thing, and that that was a great move. I, I feel confident in that. Some of the things I'm concerned about moving forward, um, you know, number one, this flat the flap. I just don't feel like because I've already got an ultralight base weight, and I can get my base weight down to probably six pounds, maybe a little bit under that for fast packing, and especially in the summertime. And I'm just afraid that the flap isn't gonna like tighten up the gear enough. And I feel like a roll top where I roll it down and then connect it on the sides really tight and cinch it down like the G420 would probably be a better fit for uh, fast packing. But again, there are some advantages here. I'm actually considering using this maybe in the Sierra, um, you know, because I have an ultralight, you know, way, uh, ultralight uh, uh, loadout and maybe just putting a small BB450 underneath here, something like that. Again, um, just a small detail. Uh, overall, I really like the pack though. Um, the other concerns I have are the mesh on the back, you know, on the front pocket here, and then the mesh here in the front. It just seems like it might get snagged easy, especially in the front, because if you're going through brush or something like that, there's overhang brush and limbs or, you know, you know thorn bushes hanging over. Um, definitely gonna you know get caught on this mesh and it may end up wearing out a lot sooner than I'd like. Uh, but overall, again, uh, I think it was a great purchase. It's really working out well for me so far. And once I get my normal 300 miles on this thing, I'll do a review, probably with my training and so forth, because I'm training with full pack, um, probably after June, the 100 mile um, challenge, um, that's when I'll be able to do a full review and you'll be able to see how this thing functioned on a 100 mile, uh, 50 hour time limit, um, fast packing trip uh, in the North Allegheny or North Woods of Pennsylvania. So that's all I've got for you today, backpackers. Um, I think it's an awesome pack. So far, so good. I'll keep you posted. Uh, get out there and do some backpacking, do some hiking. Until uh, next time, stop watching those YouTube videos though, unless they're mine. Watch every single one of them from start to finish. Later, backpackers.